Welcome back to the show, everyone. And we hope you have topped up your tea and your popcorn, because guess what? We have got a phenomenal woman on the table. So if you have any questions for her, make sure you stay on the hashtag Ebru, let's talk and the SMS sign 40920. She doesn't need much introduction, to be honest, but she's definitely one of the most successful media personalities we have in the game. It's none other than Amina Abdi. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm so happy. I think we finally should leave came. Disney I know. Show now. Hey, I know. So are we. We're very excited. Oh, Amina. This yeah. is like, oh my gosh, to do this more. <laughs> yes. How does it feel to, to be, be on, on the other side? side. Yeah. yeah. So I'm literally like freaking out. I don't know. Like when they said, when, when they were like, oh, we're coming back, we're coming back. I was like, oh my God, I want to leave. I want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> this was a bad idea. But here you are. Thank I you know. so much for yes. coming. Yes. You have to ask me. I'm so confused. That's yeah, the other thing. Ooh. Now that you're on the receiving yeah. end, you know, most people, they come and they're like, oh, you know, I'm afraid what questions we're going to ask. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But you're kind of an open book in Ish. a lot of ways. Ish. I know. Ish. Tell us, tell us. Me, I'm just interested. You know, I feel like many people know you like now, but many people didn't know you like when you started. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your journey. Like, how did you get started? Did you always want to be in media? No, no, no. no, 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 no. It found I you. Mm -hmm. that, it, it's so funny how I didn't even know that people even want to do this in their lives. Like, I was so focused on, like, my parents are very traditional. So I grew mm -hmm. up knowing that, of course, I'm either going to Google. Yeah. Or engineering, or, you know, or I'm going to be a pilot. Yeah. I'm going to be a doctor and bring honor yeah. to the family. Ah. Yes. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this was never anything I ever thought I was going to do. But then, mm -hmm. like you know, you make your plans, and then God is just like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. look at her, just you like <laughs> dreaming away. Uh, so I was like, I want to do law. That did not happen yeah. clearly. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, when when I finished Form Four, we had invested in so many businesses that sort of went bad, mm -hmm. and so we were struggling financially. Mm -hmm. And so when that happened, I was like, I'm not going to stay at home. So I just, you know, went out there and started doing every single kind of jobs there is to be done. Mm -hmm. Cleaning, making tea, booking flights. You know, I was a receptionist, secretary, PA. You know wow. the way you're just, because wow. you know, like you're hired for one wow. thing. Yeah. And then like you end up just cleaning the windows, painting, <laughs> yeah, exactly. picking up the laundry. You're just like, oh, this is still official. Mm, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. sir. All right, no problem. Business. Yeah, and then one time I just heard about radio and I was like, oh, I mean, I'm sorry, like I'm doing much cleaning over here. Exactly. I could just, uh, <laughs> you know, head just, on over and yeah. just see what that's about, you know, mm -hmm. and I went there and we, I didn't, and a salary for so long because oh they goodness. didn't even know what to do with me. Like I was literally forcing myself <laughs> onto everything. Wow. Yeah. I was like, I just want to learn, mm -hmm. you know? And so that's how I started. And, and, and now you yeah, are, yeah. like, are. the rest yeah. is history. Yeah. And yeah. now you're a woman history. of many talents because most people know you TV, radio, but it's also singing, it's also voiceover acting, it's also MC. Um, and seeing, mm -hmm. it's, I don't know, flying through the air. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how I got here. Which yeah. is how you got here. Yeah. How do you... Wow balance all that I mean clearly you've grown throughout your career but how do you balance that as of right now and how did you begin to balance that when it started to really pile on yeah you know that's a very it's so funny how I've been asked that so many times and I never used to know how to respond to it I used to be like mm. what do you what do you mean like mm. you just sort of like do just live. do it just do yeah. the thing you know you just you you do the thing yeah. I just I don't know and so but it's so funny how I think for over the past few days I'm sort of like understanding why it's even a question mm -hmm. and I think sometimes it's more so shocking that I do this and I'm a woman mm -hmm. and that also really upsets me why because we're not taught to be this ambitious yeah. so it's almost so surprising like and she's a mother yeah. and she is a and, and, and she is a exactly. you know like so there has to yeah. be a problem mm -hmm. you know because God forbid a man could do it but oh God forbid a woman Man. Yeah. Oh, look at yeah. her! Just you know, she doing must this be so tired all the time. Yeah, and I'd always have like even there would be industry people who call me like guys, man, and yeah. they'd be like, Amina, you know, clients don't know where to place you. You're doing this and you're doing that and you're doing this. I feel yeah. like you're doing too much. And I was like, how can you say that? Exactly. And you have eight different campaigns that you, you are know, on. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, no, you need to stop. You know, with this limitation. You know, this limiting of women mm -hmm. and how far they could go. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't decide for I us where the glass to ceiling to is. Yeah. If I want to sing, dance, write a book you know start a blog mm. uh, ha have my own company and do this and do that mm -hmm. I can do that you know yeah. why because I have people who I look up to who mm -hmm. are ridiculously yeah. talented mm -hmm. and so busy yeah. so when I look at people like Jennifer Lopez who okay, yeah. has a movie oh, yeah. on same number man, one girl. at the box office and at the same time
time she's you know charting oh, all the way mm -hmm. on um, on Billboard and then I look at people like Kevin Hart who has you know just started his own you know radio station mm -hmm. and then he has his TV station mm -hmm. he has his podcast he has you know two books or a book mm -hmm. and he has his movies every single mm -hmm. like you know people are out there doing things so don't let people make you feel bad because you're doing so many things mm -hmm. and also it's in me doing so many things mm -hmm. that has one you know guaranteed me sort of like longevity why mm -hmm. because this industry is so fickle you come yes. in yeah. thinking that you're gonna be that TV yep. star yeah. and then it doesn't happen yes. and you end up becoming like a sound person mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with that but then if you prepared yourself by doing mm -hmm. everything yes. you know like oh, some yeah. things won't work out and some things will I started out singing I have a passion for singing yeah. but singing you know it's a struggle Naomi understands it's yeah. it's not that easy it's not about talent it's about who you know how much yeah. you have and to do the this industry. It, yeah. it's so complicated but you see when I do this and I do that and I diversify everything I sort mm -hmm. of like spread out my risk yeah. Yeah. and so I start out doing this and that it doesn't work out I do this and that yeah. so all the women who are watching listen if you want to go out there and do every possible thing there is you yeah. go do you if you want to work get your children stay at home go to open a business here live in another country da, da, da. Do, do it, it. because we have people like so Churchill is on radio he's on TV he has yeah. several businesses he has a festival no one ever goes like hey Churchill must work so much. hard yes. and he's a father no one ever yeah. says that but if you're a chick they're like you know. It's but out of all those things you do, yeah. which one is like, the which one is the, exactly love, of the yeah. love of your life? You know, I used to be led by money, have. genuinely. You know, when you come, when you're broke, yes. <laughs> when you start no. out and you got nothing. I knew I related to you. Right? Oh, it was from the brokenness. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and there's a lot more. We just can't talk about how we relate oh, on yes. camera. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot more. No, it's so funny. But like I used to just be led by money. So whatever would pay me the most is what I would love. Mm -hmm. And then I found out that it costs your mental health sometimes. Mm -hmm. And once you understand just how expensive your peace of mind is, mm -hmm. then money stops being a guide. So these mm -hmm. days it's just something, you know, it's I'm going to start doing more things that fulfill me. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Speaking of being a jack of all trades, recently Jackie. you started an, an initiative um, for a book reading. Yeah. So what brought that about? First, I just wanted to read some more. Mm -hmm. I wanted to sound That's smarter. Genuinely. Yeah. Genuinely. Right? Was like, How much a day? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, people read a book a day. What? Yes. You know, like Elon like Musk read like the one. encyclopedia <laughs> when it was wow. Wow. Oh, seven. It's, it's facts. What you should be doing. Yeah, uh, who waste the time? Should? should? You okay, imagine. Well, so, yes. Not just, not just, I'm sorry. I'm no, actually really no, into no, no, your no, no, no. initiative. It's, please, Le. I'm really into the initiative because a lot of people don't. Is it real? I mean, it's real. I love when people ask that. It's not real. Okay. Oh my God! But but reading, because you know it's like it's exercise of the mind. So yes. you should be doing, and I think that's kind of what you went in with your initiative. But actually, I was looking up little statistics, and 38.5 percent of Kenyans are actually illiterate. So that's a very mm. large portion of wow. illiteracy. Yeah. 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 And so, I mean. Respect. Yeah. I guess it's not even a question. It's it just is respect. It's so interesting how yes, illiteracy is definitely a huge problem in this country. Mm -hmm. And having come from um, you know a, a, a family that is you know a disproportionate majority of the members are from not so well-to-do families. Yeah. So what happens is that affects education. Mm -hmm. Education affects, you know, your ambition, everything about you, Amazing, you know, yeah. and then you, where you really sort of like how far you could go. Yeah. You know, education has a lot to do with that. So yes, that is a very important key. Mm -hmm. And then also I have this partnership that I've been doing with UNHCR and, you know, just looking at the different things that they do and how, um, you know, education is also a key role in ensuring that the refugees do get, you know, yeah. to have yeah. their normal lives yeah. again, yeah. right? Because education for all of us, I mean, to join as a mother. Yeah. Um, you, no, me, don't, you know, it's been long since I've seen you. I don't know. <laughs> I'm the only mom here. Yes, baby, no, 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 no,
the statistics show that um, especially boys are not the readers um, mm -hmm. in our community, right? Um, so what would you say, how do you make reading um, a thing in your home because you're a mom of a boy? Let me tell you, kids learn from example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you become a... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. You, you give up yeah. a lot and it's so crazy how like you don't even know yeah. they really be watching you like they're not following at the things I'm you're so saying happy. right yeah, so you can't be like dream. baba you know like you need to be reading and then i'm just there on my phone the whole time or i'm on tv the whole time he has to see like oh mom actually really does read mm -hmm. so then that's what we do yeah. and then with every you know like now he's learning how to read words mm -hmm. so then now with every book then now we get a gift or we get something so you do them because mm -hmm. kids love that. Positive so yeah. enforcement, yes. absolutely. Yeah. I so yeah. that's actually a really interesting statistic, which I think you shared, but I've only just remembered right now that yeah. I also have a son. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at the time she mentioned it, I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm here. I should. But no, <laughs> I've just thought about it. I'm it's like, true. my son really loves to read, that's which is interesting because I don't really love to. Like, I like the idea of reading a lot. Right. So whenever I'm going to the salon, I'm like, I'm carrying this book. But, <laughs> but I will not read the book. Or on holiday. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, carrying this I'm book. going to read this book. I'm going to even exercise. Let me just put all these things. But it just doesn't happen but like she's saying i think it's really just about like enforcing it in your yeah. children yeah. you know yeah. and just telling them like you just you have to and if they see you doing it then they're gonna do it well, mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah. interesting that you bring that up because i feel like a lot of the reason people stray away from reading is they feel like oh it's a waste of time kind of thing because yeah. it's not like exercise where you can see it evolving in your body kind of thing yeah. but that really does go back to what do you think the the reading culture in Kenya is not only like separate from refugees and the importance of yeah that, of so course kids, yes 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 the culture in general I think that there is a reading culture. It's just that it's not as, as I think. I would really love if more people read. Yeah. Know, like, but like, it's, it's not, we're not as many. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, I found that there is a community of mm -hmm. readers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's so many people who are also like doing all these things where they're funding libraries yeah. and they're doing this and that. The culture has not been as great as it should be. Mm -hmm. And you had also asked me something, what are some of the books that I read? And, of you know, course. it's so funny how people don't know, like, whatever it is that you're going through right now, we have a lot of cases of people going through depression or, mm -hmm. you know, very tough, difficult mental, you know, yeah. periods. And, there is a book about it like there are books about all types of things and if there is no book about it then why don't you write about it because if you're exactly. going through it then mm. you know who better to talk about being bullied on social media or you know yeah. being a mother in the spotlight mm -hmm. or you know trying to make it as a musician and yeah. like it's something that you went through yeah so there's a book about it if it's, if it's not there then you get to write mm. it out so yeah. you like reading more biographical stuff, more yeah. factual oh, stuff. Yes, mm. I love that. But then I've also, so it's so interesting. I started out reading, of course, everyone's book, Kevin Hart, Cabernet. Yeah. 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 Yes. You know, like you were just like, oh, I want to read this, I want to read that. Yes, and that's all great. But then as mm -hmm. it go, as it went along, I started reading more inspirational books. Self help. Yeah. Set, right? The kind I hate. Mm -hmm. The kind I hate. Me too. Mm -hmm. And I just found myself just that's living it. there. Mm -hmm. For people who struggle to read, start with a small book. Yes. Start with a small book. Start reading like chapter by chapter. Um, reduce your screen time. You know, social. If you're constantly like, you see, for example, like she's an influencer and I'm an influencer, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. I make money online. I haven't been online since January. Exactly. I have a social media person who manages my account. You just. And what it. happens is, don't only be a consumer. Don't always just be there watching people hating, doing work. Three hours shaming. later. Yes. Four yes. hours later, the <laughs> so that you've melted there. your brain. Yeah. You know, and those are the things that really concern me. Like yeah. how. How much time do you have? Because, mm -hmm. you know, I think about all the things that I've got going on in my life and in my mind, and mm -hmm. people think I've been busy. Well, mm -hmm. you know, like, I am ready to do so many other things. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, like, looking at my plate, how busy I am. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, what time do you people have? People have time. But that's exactly. the thing. That, like, people when you're busy doing make you, and then someone is busy, like, you know, the fact that they are not busy is what's making them, mm -hmm. like, want to kind of go on yeah. your page and stroll you and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you've got so much going on, but the, what's, what's the goal? What's the goal? Mm. Like, you know, clearly most people would think this is this is it. This is life. Like, when mm -hmm. I get to Amina, then I'm done. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm set. I like Amina is I'm gold, done. essentially. Yeah. <laughs> so what for you is a goal? No, it doesn't have to be specific because, yeah. you know, you don't want to yeah. put it all well, out there, Yes. what is that? You know, that's such an interesting question. I've never thought about it. And so my one of my very close friends in the industry is called John Falman. Mm -hmm. And so for a long time, I think, you know, when you look to our older female TV and radio presenters, like they got to a point and they just stopped doing TV or radio. Yeah. Just, yeah. They just yeah, they fall off. Yeah. And I was like, uh, hello, <laughs> where do we go from here? <laughs> Hi. Okay. I'm now doing Who's the breakfast show. <laughs> mm -hmm. What next? Hello. You know, so I was like, mm -hmm. 
because it's almost like that's where it ends, but for females. Yeah. But you see, when I look at like Ellen, she's 62 yes. or something. Oh my God. I'm like, God. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a block. Yeah, you know, look at God. Oprah. You mm -hmm. know, she's still Love touring the world. She's still you. moderating. She's still doing all these mm -hmm. sessions. Yeah. Look at P. Diddy. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why is it that we're not encouraged no more about yeah. longevity? Why does it have to end? Yeah. So Joan Falme would always be like, because I'd be like, oh, Joe, when are you going to stop DJing? Mm -hmm. And he'd always be like, why do I have to stop DJing? So he's like, you know, Jazzy Jeff is 51 yeah. and mm -hmm. he's booked until 2021 or something and yeah. I'm like Dang. you're right yeah. well, so it never has the to goal stop. it never has to stop that's yeah. the thing and what happens is the frustration that I think a lot of people have is that they set all these goals for themselves thinking that life is gonna go like this yeah. and then it doesn't go like this yeah. and then you're just like oh my god what am I gonna do now because you had sort of told yourself by the time I'm 25 by the time I'm 32 mm -hmm. by the time I get on this show 40. by the time I do this yeah. you know what I mean and things don't always work out that way and then yeah. you feel like oh my gosh I'm all my goals are sort of like not reaching I've lost what about just conquering the world what about mm -hmm. just going as far as, as you can possibly go yeah. I bet if Lupita was asked when she was acting in Sugar what her end goal is I'm so sure winning Oscars were yeah. not there you know like yeah. she's like I would like to win an Oscar but I you know guess. like she's like I yeah. get it would be not nice. so serious yeah. 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 you know yeah. but you never know like so just keep at it and then we'll see where this journey oh, is going to so take inspired. Yeah. Yeah. me too were you so <laughs> like with everything that goes on in your life yeah. I mean 24 7 it seems like you're doing something mm -hmm. mentally emotionally what what do you do like for fun like to just calm yourself you know? Um like, first of all <laughs> that's actually, that yeah, has that's become a, good, a thing for me yeah. mm -hmm. reading has become a thing for me yoga is really cool yes. I'm really into meditation yes. um, and then I protect my energy a lot good. I'm really big on energy I'm one of those people I just sound I don't know how I sound like I'm always just like I don't know I don't feel her vibe mm -hmm. like I'm really yes, liking the like energy here and you guys are yeah. really yeah. you know you, like oh, the vibe here is like pretty pretty cool yeah. I said that like from the minute I walked in I watched the entire show like everything you guys said I was like oh, yes, so this is my I'm like oh my gosh when I go back to my show I need to goodness like you know everything just sounded so good yeah. um, mm -hmm. and so I work with you know energy a lot so I make sure that the people mm -hmm. that, that I surround myself with are people who love and support me yes. mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I know that ultimately a lot of people around you are just around you so that you know yeah. they could use yeah. you to see you're a yeah. resource but yeah. aren't we always using someone at some point in our lives there's yeah. nothing wrong with yeah. that as long as it's you know honest and we're learning from one another mm -hmm. so I really really I think that that's so important because they keep me going I you know I'm with my makeup artist a lot of the time so she's yeah. a very good friend of mine you know my stylist Brian Babu a very good friend so like everyone around me because I'm with them a lot yeah. so then it helps when I'm, I'm with them and I re I, t I rest a lot yeah and I try to not stress myself good. I think yeah. it helps me yeah. Yeah. amen I feel like that goes back to something that we discuss often you know you got to do things with intention when you rest with intention you work with intention your life is going to be beautiful and amazing and we're all going to succeed amen <laughs> <laughs>